Top 10 Horror Movies on Netflix Are you missing the adrenaline rush you get from riding a roller coaster? How about a story that makes you think about something you've never even imagined before? If you want your senses to tingle from the comfort of your own home, you might be looking for a great horror film. Hey guys, welcome to your entertainment channel, Netflix Tops, where we tell you about the top rated movies and series on Netflix. So grab your popcorn and stay with us until the end of this video, because today's video is going to list down the top 10 horror movies to watch on Netflix. So let's get started. Number 10, Cargo. One of Netflix's first original horror films is still one of the favorites. Ben Howling and Yolanda Remke's Cargo stars Martin Freeman as a father traversing the Australian outback with his daughter. Also, there are zombies. Think of The Walking Dead as an undead film that's more about its human characters facing survival drama than zombie action, except this one packs sturdy emotional stakes. Freeman's Traveler encounters psychos, ferocious walkers, and weather elements that add thrills to Cargo. But what's unexpected is how a baby doesn't weigh the narrative down. Child subplots in horror are a tricky formula to crack that Cargo gets right, as the fears of a protective parent translate into a hearty zombie experience. It's not an especially scary movie. It is, however, a moody, atmospheric movie, replacing scares with nearly overwhelming sense of sadness. If here, zombies present as victims of a dilapidating illness, a wax and carious fluid seeps from their eyes and mouths, which is sustainably nauseating in the stead of workday splatter. All the same, cargo is never half as stomach-churning as it is simply devastating. Number 9. Till Death A woman finds herself shackled to a corpse as part of a revenge plot. Megan Fox plays the previously mentioned woman handcuffed to her stone-cold dead ex in one of her recent indie horror ventures. It's not that Till Death is revolutionary, more how Fox carries a gimmick film through engaging thrills as she drags her co-star's lifeless body around a house and away from killers. Till Death knows it's only ever trying to be a chilly Friday night stream at barely 90 minutes, and that's the proper mindset. Fox's comeback tour raises eyebrows with Till Death, a movie worth a gamble based on the premise's better-than-expected execution. Number 8. The Ritual Netflix's original horror game rose to another level with The Ritual. Four friends take a northern Swedish hiking trip in memory of their deceased fifth, only to become victims of a woodland nightmare. Visions begin by layering psychological horror as the characters confront fear or guilt, then cultism adds communal dread. And lastly, Buckner delivers on the creature feature goods. One source of terror feeds into the next and provokes future traumas, all interconnected as Buckner weaves in and out of multiple horror subgenres with ease. There's so much to enjoy as Swedish Force Station becomes an isolated outdoor prison, and then all hell breaks loose. Buckner flaunts his filmmaking chops in a significant way. Number 7. Crimson Peak If you can't make it out to a theater to check out Nightmare Alley yet, or are just looking for the perfect follow-up after seeing Guillermo del Toro's latest, The Impeccable Crimson Peak is the perfect film for you. One of the most gorgeous films in a man whose entire filmography is known for how jaw-droppingly stunning, it features incredible performances from Tom Hiddleston, Mia Wasikowska, and Jessica Chastain. This hauntingly human story will keep you guessing as supernatural forces seem to swirl around Edith Cushing and Sir Thomas Sharp. Gorgeous gothic visuals, strong performances, and retro-inspired chills run throughout an underrated Guillermo del Toro romantic ghost story set in the Victorian-era England starring Mia Wasikowska, Tom Hiddleston, and Jessica Chastain. Number 6. Hashtag Alive No one does a zombie movie quite like South Korea, and Hashtag Alive is one of the absolute best. A video game streamer decides to lock himself in his apartment while a zombie outbreak destroys the surrounding city of Seoul. But just as he's losing all hope, he discovers that his neighbor in the apartment across from him is also still alive. The two create a zip line to share food and share walkie-talkies to communicate with one another, while zombies terrorize the world outside of their walls. It's a film as much about a human need for interaction as it is about survival, and the constant threat of zombies keeps every moment filled with exhilarating tension. Number 5. The Fear Street Trilogy Leah Janiak was the talk of the summer when Netflix dropped the cinematic trilogy based on the popular book series by Goosebumps author R.L. Stein, Fear Street. The Fear Street trilogy brought three separate movies to tell one cohesive story about the cursed town of Shadyside and the inhabitants impacted by generational horror. Each film is predominantly set in a different time period, delivering a little treat for fans of slasher, hauntings, teen horror, queer horror, and folk horror. The three films work best when watched all together, but each film can successfully stand on its own, making it a must-see trilogy. Number 4. Final Destination 3-5 through five. 
Sometimes watching a bunch of people die in incredibly grotesque and, and Rube Goldberg-esque ways are just what the doctor ordered. Netflix currently has Final Destination 3, 4, and 5, the three with arguably the most creative and memorable deaths in the franchise. Tanning beds, laser eye surgery, gymnastics, nail guns, 3D movies, and acupuncture will all become new irrational fears in your life. The same way logging trucks and airplanes were completely ruined for us all by the first two films. A lot of people gave up the franchise after the incorrectly titled The Final Destination, but Final Destination 5 is absolutely one of the best. So do yourself a favor and enjoy the later installments. Number 3. His House Remy Weeks truly made something special with His House, arguably one of the scariest films on the Netflix roster. A haunted house story on the surface, His House centers on a refugee couple escaping war-torn Sudan, only to find the English town they fled to may be just as harrowing as the land they left. The source of the film's horror lies not just with these supernatural elements, but also with the themes of grief, guilt, abandonment, xenophobia, and assimilation. It's a powerful haunt that will linger with you long after the credits roll. Remy Weeks' acclaimed supernatural horror debut follows South Sudanese refugees adjusting to a perilous life in small-town Europe. Like The Babadook or Under the Shadow, this is horror as dramatic art rather than a series of things that jump out and go boom. The real-world subject matter is twisted and devastating, all strikingly performed by leads Wunmi Musaka and Sopterisu. Number 2. Raw French director Julia Ducarneau has recently made waves with her Palme d'Or win for her film Titan. But Netflix is the home of her incredible debut feature, the coming-of-age cannibal film Raw. A young vegetarian named Justine goes away to veterinary school and consumes meat for the first time in an attempt to fit in with her peers. Unfortunately, this taste of meat ignites the truth about Jessie's nature that had been hiding within her all along and sends her on the path of destruction, violence, and flesh-eating mayhem. Julia Ducarneau's cannibal drama is so graphic and intense, it made grown men faint at the tip, requiring an ambulance. Horror can always be read as a metaphor, and this wickedly clever allegory uses bloody violence and shocking imagery to punctuate a story about a young veterinary student, Garen Smerillier, becoming her own person, denying the patriarchy, and giving into her innermost desires. You will likely either love or hate Raw. It's virtually impossible to have a mixed reaction to a film this confrontational. Number 1. Vampires vs. the Bronx Vampires have been used as metaphors as a variety of othering, but Vampires vs. the Bronx highlights humanity's true villain, gentrification. After a trio of young best friends discover a brood of vampires are preparing to destroy the Bronx, they take matters into their own hands and get the community together to fight back against the monsters invading their home. Calling it the Lost Boys for a new generation feels too easy, but the Frog Brothers would be proud to see how Miguel, Bobby, Louis, Gloria, Lil Mayer, and the rest of the gang tackled the aptly named Murano real estate film. Leave the steak, take the adobo. And this brings us to the end of the video. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share with us in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for amazing movie reviews coming your way. And thank you for watching.